This is going to be a different sort of video where I talk about a topic of ReZero and get your opinion on the matter. Due to the nature of this topic, it will contain spoilers for anime onlys, however I'll notify you when the spoilers are going to happen so you can click off the video. The topic I wanted to talk about is Rem, and I know Rem is a beloved character and is extremely popular, however I want to play devil's advocate to explain why Rem may not be as great as you think. The truth of the matter is that we never understood Rem as a character, she had no real personality. So let me explain, we know that in Arc 2, Rem's life had no value, her purpose was to act as an extension of Ram. What's interesting is that Rem's idolization of Ram is actually compared to Felix's devotion to Krush. Extremely toxic, as we all know what happens in Pride If when Krush gets erased from existence. Felix becomes mind broken and chooses death over life, requiring Subaru to return by death to save him. Rem is similar, she doesn't value herself until Subaru steps in. However, even after Arc 2, we know that Rem still struggles with valuing herself. The entire side story titled The Headmaid's Restless Day Off revolves around her struggling to accept that the other people in the Emilia camp value her. Despite this though, it's potentially obvious that Rem's fixation of Ram has simply been transferred to Subaru. Rem always fell in the shadow of her older sister and did not respect her life. Subaru came along and changed the way she thought about it, and now that devotion is redirected to Subaru. After reading some of these side stories which take place between Arc 2 and Arc 3, it's fairly obvious that Rem's obsession with Subaru is not healthy. In the previously mentioned side story, The Headmaid's Restless Day Off, Rem has been shown to essentially do as many of Subaru's chores as possible, even doing Subaru's writing homework which was given to him by Ram. In these situations, Subaru never really asked Ram to do these things, she just took it upon herself to reduce Subaru's burdens, which in my opinion is bad as it prevents Subaru from improving his own skills. Another side story titled Rem's Maiden Heart is Super Complex shows how Rem catches Subaru sleeping and slacking off. She then makes sure that the other members of the mansion do not disturb Subaru when he's sleeping. She does this in various ways by making sure that Ram is working in the basement. She gives Roswell paperwork so he's stuck in his study, gives Amelia snacks so she stays in her room, and she also closes every door to account for Beatrice. Rem would then get a chair and sit next to Subaru when he was sleeping so she could watch him sleep getting so close that she could breathe onto his face. What we see here is an obsession. If you aren't truly convinced, another side story titled The Best Day of Rem's Life focuses on Rem giving Subaru a haircut, which turns out that this is actually Rem's best day of her entire life. What's interesting is that a lot of this story is held from Rem's perspective, and in this we can see how deep her obsession with Subaru is. We see that Rem thinks about Subaru a lot, whether awake or asleep, no matter what happens, Subaru is on her mind. It even gets to a point where she herself questions if she thinks about Subaru too much. However, this is the most interesting thing. There's a line describing this phenomenon, sickness, and that's exactly what her obsession with Subaru is. It's an addiction, a sickness that she has which is inherently unhealthy. Everything she does is related to Subaru, and she herself has no real personality or autonomy. This of course makes sense during Season 1 Episode 15, where Rem states that Subaru is a reason for her to die. She has gained no self-value, and her fascination of Ram has simply transferred to Subaru. Whilst Rem is of course pivotal in Arc 3, it doesn't change the fact that Rem is simply a yes man for Subaru, overcome with a sickness which defines her character. In the Headmaid's Restless Day Off, we see that Rem only owns a nightgown and her maid clothes. She has no clothing which reflects her personality, she is simply a maid and that's all she will ever be. I mean for example, let me use Elsa as an example, she is a horrible character. But outside of being the Gart Hunter, we know she gave up the most fulfilling moment of her life, fighting Garfield, to save Melee from falling debris. 
In addition to this, Elsa also makes stuffed animals for Melee, which is definitely a sharp contrast from how she's actually portrayed. We don't see this with Rem, she is simply a maid that loves Subaru and there isn't really much else to define her as a character. And of course I understand that many people like Rem and would love for a girl to be infatuated with Dim to that extent. It overall however isn't healthy for both parties and Rem's dependence on Subaru is a sickness that should be addressed. Now here's where I get into spoilers so any anime only watchers click off the video now if you aren't up to date with the web novel. Obviously we know how Rem in Arc 7 is, she cannot trust Subaru mainly due to his initial decision to abandon Louis, the Sin Archbishop of Gluttony. And then you have to factor in his witch's sin. Rem of course can hardly believe Subaru as a character or believe anything he says. This is of course a stark contrast to her Arc 3 counterpart, many people believe her character is ruined and it's going downhill, and again like I said I want to play devil's advocate and try and elaborate why Arc 7 Rem is, in my opinion, better than Arc 3 Rem, or at least she can be developed to be better than Arc 3 Rem. As stated before, Rem didn't really have a personality beyond being what we saw during Arcs 2 and 3. Her unyielding devotion to Ram and Subaru made her generic in a way. Again, I'm not begrudging her actions, as they were certainly beneficial to Subaru, for example in Season 1 Episode 18, but Rem's trope of unconditional love for Subaru is actually quite unsettling, especially when it seemed to have been born out of her insecurity towards her sister due to always being outclassed. However, in Arc 7, this is different. Rem is no longer shackled by her past with the witch cult and her sickness of fanatically obsessing over Subaru is no longer a factor to her actual behaviour. Now that these hurdles have been removed we can actually see Rem as a character and we can see how she will develop without those attachments that dragged her down into the mud. From what we see of Arc 7, Rem is a caring person. Rem notices Subaru's scent and that it's murderous and unsettling, however she made her initial decision to run away due to Subaru wanting to abandon Lewis. In other words, Rem didn't just ditch Subaru solely for the witch cult sent on him, but due to his actual actions of being a bad person. And on top of that, she didn't actually kill Subaru when she had the chance. This of course is a very stark difference from Rem in Arc 2 who killed Subaru mainly just due to his scent alone, due to her devotion to her sister. Of course Rem stated that Subaru was enroaching on the place where Rem and Ram belonged and that was the reason why she killed Subaru. This of course is one stark difference between the Rem in Arc 2 and Arc 7, she is more analytical in Arc 7 even giving Subaru more chances to redeem himself. A final thing I'll mention is that Rem actually reminds me a lot of Ram over these past few chapters. She'll actually insult Subaru quite a bit and Subaru does note that these insults don't necessarily come from a hostile emotion behind it. So again it does remind me of Ram's sharp tongue in a way which may insinuate that without Rem's addiction to Subaru and her shackles of Ram holding her back, she might actually be more similar to Ram than we all think. So what do you think? Do you agree with me that the Arc 7 Rem might be better or have the potential to be better than Arc 3 Rem? Or do you still believe that Arc 3 Rem to be the superior character? Let me know. And thank you for watching and thank you to my channel members.